Good day everyone. My name is Janola. In continuation of the Learn with Peer programs for the OWASP Top 10 organized by Tari of Akas. Today we'll be looking at the OWASP Top 10, the DTV tax, which is themed sensitive data exposure. Now, since data exposure has been described in the provided guideline, but we should understand that this vulnerability is a special one because it's something that is very common and we see in our day-to-day -day activities. There are times we see organizations divulge information to the public without knowing information such as financial records, health records. We have people that have been attacked because their information was provided somewhere. So sensitive data exposure is just basically when you we are providing data to the internet, which is not supposed to be. You are providing sensitive data to the internet where anybody can access it. So this vulnerability is interesting. At the same time, we we'll look at how to exploit it and understand it better. So while we are here, as always, we make sure we are connected to the VPN. Can go to where we have downloaded i'll try to bring this up here where we downloaded then you can connect using open vpn once we are connected you can head over back to the page then deploy the machine while the machine is booting up we can read through this so one no web of accidentally divulge sensitive data we refer to it as sensitive data exposure. This is often direct this is often data directly linked to customers, names, date of birth, financial information, but could also be more technical information such as usernames and passwords. We could read through this, then we have supporting materials. Here's one tells us about the most common store amount of data is a database. And we are meant to understand that we have things called flat file database, which are stored on a file on a disk, which are more easier to access because they are basically files on a disk which is smaller in size than having a full database server set up. So, as an example, we have this file example of DB which is using SQL lights and we are giving it so which can be used to access it as SQL lights 3 then the database name and we are also shown the commands to run so we can extract information from it then the second supporting material talks about password cracking so assuming we have ashes of users we can try to crack them using it's, uh, it's an online tool known as crack station so i'm going to click this to make sure we have it running then we'll check if the web page is up by now so i'll just go to this address and you can see that we have it running so let's go back to the challenge itself Says so it's not time to put what we have learned into practice. And the first thing we ask is have a look at the web app. The developer has left in a note indicating that there is sensitive data in a specific directory. The question is what is the name of the mentioned directory? Now, when it comes to web apps, it is very common. For one of the first things we do when we have web apps like this is to do something called directory brute forcing. So we are going to check for directories that exist on the web page and to do that we have some tools such as Google star deb double star but one of my favorites is to use foof fuf so I'm going to show the syntax here so basically foof takes the URL a word list to use then it has some switches which you can look up. So, Foof is available on GitHub, it's written by Tom Nam and it's 
a pretty fast direct boost forcer. So we'll run this on while that is running, we'll just check around the page and see that we can see here that we have a login button. So we'll click on login, see where that takes us. And right from here, we could try to use some common usernames like admin admin. We can try admin password. We can even try some other things. Well, let's check our brute force. It's done. So we have directories, we have the assets, we have console, we have index.php, we have the login, which is the one we have currently, and we have the favicon.ico, which is the site logo. So let's start by checking the access directory. Slash assets. You can see we have a list. We have the CSS, fonts, image, JS, PHP. And we can see that we also have a DB file which is strange. So we are going to click on this and have it download somewhere. So I'm going to put it in my download folder, save it there, and you know we we'll have the web app that's DB in the access folder, access directory. The first question was the name of dimension directory that's slash assets and next question let me get the directory what file stands out so you can see that the file that stands out here is the web app.db file and it says use supporting that we have to access sensitive data what is the password hash of the admin user so going back to the supporting material one we are told we can access database using sql light 3 so go over to our database i'll go over to downloads Clear this out and let's make sure we have the file. Okay, we have the file here. So, according to the material, we can do SQL Lite 3, then the name of that is loaded. Then, we are told we can run it just table command to show the tables. So, you can see that we have two tables sessions table and the users table. The users table looks interesting, so we'll look into that. So say at this point you can dump all of the data from the table. We can use pragma table info then the name of the table. So we can use pragma table underscore info and the table we want to check is users. So seeing this we can see we have the first column to be user ID, the username, password, and admin. Then we can select all from users in this following this we can see we have the user id the username the password then the admin count if it's an admin we have one if it's not admin we have zero so the question says how much a challenge this question says the admin user hash so we can see this the admin user hash and that is our answer. Then set call the hash. What is the admin pen paste password? So going back to what you have earlier to so crack session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the three hashes we have here. Sorry, I'm supposed to copy. Copy the three hashes. On crack session, you can crack multiple hashes as at once. So I'm going to copy the three. Then try to crack everything at once and see the values. So we know the first one is for admin, the second one is for Bob, and the third one is for Alice. So verify you're not a robot, which I hope you are not, then click on crack hashes. So we can see that the first one, the admin password is quality UIOP, and the password for Bob, Bob is test two. So the plain text password for the admin user is this yep. so yeah so the past tech principle for the admin user is this and for bob is test two moving on login as the admin what is the flag so i'm going to copy this password and head over to the login page 
and now we'll try to log in as the admin using the password we copied and you can see we have our flag here that's all that's all the questions the task requires us but one thing we should notice is that on this challenge we are told in addition to the usual daily price in this box a voucher for one more solution to attract me there may be another hint on the box basically there's another coupon on the box then also apologize if you are hearing a dog barking i have two of them and i'm recording this at midnight so they are just trying to make the world a safer place by doing their job apologies for that now the other accounts we have we know we have the bob user we have the password as test too so we can head over to login as the user bob using test 2 as the password looking here you can check the source code and we have a hint here that says if you know what the subcode is and that's why you are here kudos for deserve the that's the hints it's back on the home page so now this part is tricky because well maybe for me somehow tricky so if we go back to the home page we we'll try to log out from here and go back to the home page. Let's see what happens. So now, slow. Okay. I think I'm having issues with this box, so I'm going to terminate this, then bring up another one in a second. So on the home page, we can see we have this post but one thing we should note is that we have somewhere that here that says contact us here and if you put your cursor over here looking at the top left corner of my screen there's an email address you can check the page source you can see we have this email address so what we have to do was to send an email to that email address and you would get a coupon code back so we are happy to announce that one of us actually got it so we say congratulations to lights he gets the coupon for one month's premium access to try at me and this should be a sort of motivation for the rest of us so we can always try other look more challenges and think out of the box so that's all for this box it's pretty basic and i hope in one way or the other we have learned something Thank you and we'll see you at the walkthrough for the next day.